Greetings. Aaron Sagers here from House Sci-Fi. While the realm heads to war down in Westeros, I have journeyed north to the realm of Cooperstown, New York to visit House Brewery Omegang. Inside, they have brewed their eighth collaboration with Game of Thrones called Bin the Knee. And after all, if it is one thing that the Lannisters, the Starks, and the Targaryens can agree upon, it is a fine ale. So join me as I head inside for an exclusive first taste of Bend the Knee. I'm here with Phil Leinhardt, the brewmaster of Brewery Oma Gang, and we are here to check out some new Game of Thrones beers. Phil, thanks so much for joining me today. Yeah, no problem, man. So Bend the Knee is the eighth beer in the Oma Gang Game of Thrones series, correct? Yes. So why is this the beer that's like a nice evolution, nice extension of, of this line? Well, it's a, a golden ale, strong golden ale, traditional Belgian style we haven't explored in this series yet. I mean, we've done a triple, which is very similar, related, but this is a little bit different. Um, and use, we use some honey in this beer, so uh, a beer that's an ingredient we haven't used in any other beer we've ever done at, at Oma Gang, so it's kind of a nice experiment that way. And, and what was your initial thoughts when you when this was coming together and you were trying it? Uh, like, how long did it get to that? Did it take you to get to that flavor that you really felt like was Not on point? Not too long. I think we did a few pilot versions of this. Uh, you know, when we embark on any new beer, we have a good idea of what we want to make. So the different versions are relatively minor tweaks on that on that idea so but uh the real litmus test is when we filter the first production batch and it's in the bright beer tank and i, I remember when i tasted this and i was like wow that's really nice okay and so well uh i love talking to you but this is sort of the star of the show right now isn't it yeah so, so you want to try something? yeah let's do okay. it man definitely nice and uh golden right there yeah but nice Carbonation effervescence, like a lot of our Belgian styles, re-fermented in the bottle. So a little bit of higher carbonation than the typical bottled beer, but that's a signature of a lot of Belgian styles. So nice okay. bright golden color, nice firm white head. Mm -hmm. All right, give it a nice little smell there. You get a little bit of the grain, a little bit of the, the noble hop uh, herbal aroma. Let's give it a taste. Is this kind of like a, a old school style of beer as far as, um, you know, something you could imagine people in a, a realm like Game of Thrones possibly drinking? Well, actually in, in that setting, I imagine more like, you know, old ales, you know, like from uh, darker beers, you know, mm -hmm. back, cause back then all malts were, or I'm not talking about in a fantasy world, in the real world, uh, all malts were dark because they kilned uh, with direct fires. So a lot of the malts were smoky and dark. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't until late 1800s, early 1900s, they developed the, the malting and kilning technology to produce pale malts like that. Cheers, Cheers man. Thanks so much. Yep. Hi, how are you? Hi. I'm Aaron. I'm Kristen. Nice to meet you. You too. You know, we're at this Oma Gang Cafe, and I don't know if you know this, but they serve a lot of Game of Thrones beers, and I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. Are you a Game of Thrones fan? I love Game of Thrones. Well, okay, then, you know, we've got, we're coming up on a new season, so who do you think should take the Iron Throne? Has to be a Stark. Okay. So, probably just gonna say Arya. Okay. But she doesn't have a face, so I don't know how she could possibly I mean, be on the throne. She's so, we don't even know where she is right now. Maybe you didn't notice the guy that I'm dressed as, but that's <laughs> I that's mean, okay. the sword maybe gave it away. So maybe. Are you, you're a little biased to Jon Snow. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll allow it. I'm going to let you enjoy your beer, but I don't know if you know this, but I'm, I'm kind of the commander of the Night's Watch, so I drink for free. So... <laughs> We'll get you some free drinks over here, okay? I'm so All lucky right. that I met you right now. I know, now. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for your time today. You too. It's so right. nice meeting you. you too. I hope you win the throne. Thank you. Me too. 
Hey guys, does anyone know who double parked the dragon outside? <laughs> who do you think is gonna be on the Iron Throne? At the end of Game of Thrones, who's gonna get it? Sansa. Sansa, your vote's for Sansa, yeah. how about you? I agree with him. Also Sansa, why Sansa? Why do you think she's gonna get it? I just think in the last season that we saw, she showed like, she progressed a lot as a character, um, taking control of the army and all of that, so I think she's gonna show more progression in the later seasons. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think? She's gonna deal with Joffrey. Okay. Like, she deserves to be on the throne. She had to deal with all his shit. I mean, okay, but no love for Jon Snow? Come on, just give me a little bit, um, none? I just think it's the fact that he's like, a, can I say, a bastard? The fact that he's a bastard just, it kind of takes him out of the equation. You, you cut me deep, Dan, but, uh, <laughs> but I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys' input. Uh, I'm gonna step away, let you guys enjoy uh, these nice Game of Thrones uh, Oma Gang beers. So thanks yep. for your time. Good seeing you guys, all right? Here. See ya. There you have it. We hope you enjoyed our exclusive first taste of Bend the Knee, the eighth beer from the collaboration between Game of Thrones, HBO, and brewery Oma Gang. Winter is coming, but the beer will soon be here.